If you've been looking into silencers, subsonic ammunition might have come up. We're going to talk about subsonic versus supersonic ammunition, why you might choose one or the other. What are you doing? Shooting subs. It does sound good. Yeah, it does. What do I do? What do I do? Howdy everyone, Chase and Garrett here with Silencer Shop, and today we're going to talk about subsonic versus supersonic ammunition and why you might choose one or the other when you're shooting suppressed. Garrett, what's the difference between subs and supers when we're running suppressed guns? Whenever you're shooting subsonic ammo, it's going below the sound barrier, so that's about 1100 feet per second. So essentially what that means is you're avoiding that supersonic crack whenever the bullet goes down range. Suppressors are really good at reducing the sound of the gunshot, trapping the gases and the, the combustion fumes that are leaving your barrel. But thanks to physics and Isaac Newton, Nerd. there's no way to get rid of that supersonic crack. So if you want the absolute quietest, lowest recoil shooting experience, subsonic ammo paired with a suppressor is going to be the way to go. Absolutely. So most of your centerfire ammunition is going to be supersonic. Your 5.56, 6.5 Creedmoor, 308, all of these are inherently supersonic rounds moving faster than that 1100 feet per second, normally closer to 2500 or 3000 feet per second. They're using a little bit lighter bullets, traveling much faster, and that results in flatter trajectory, a flatter shooting gun. You're also going to have more muzzle energy generally, so they're going to be a little bit better for long range shooting. For example, we have these 300 blackout and 9mm supersonic loads. These are going to be 110 to 125 grain bullets for the supersonics, 115 grain on your 9mm, versus if we're looking at subs, you're like 220 grains on 300 blackout and 147 grain or heavier on 9 millimeters. So you're getting like almost twice as much weight. So a lot more energy in the bullet, but it's slower moving. Yeah, there's also a lot of benefits like less recoil since it's a slower moving bullet. Um, you won't have to deal with that supersonic crack. And whenever you pair that with shooting suppressed, it just really makes the overall experience much better. <laughs> dove. Bird. How do you know that's a dove? Pretty bird. Pretty bird. <laughs> Some of the most popular subsonic ammo was 9mm, 45 ACP, 300 blackout, 86 blackout, and of course, 22 long rifle. And they're all super effective whenever you're shooting suppressed. Yeah, that's right. And you might also see subsonic 5.56, subsonic 308, subsonic 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, these are kind of not inherently subsonic rounds. They're a lot of fun at the range and they'll make your gun sound great with silencers, but we kind of treat them as just toys, just fun at the range. Exactly, because a lot of guns sometimes will have issues cycling those uh, specialty rounds whenever you're talking subsonic. So it can be done, but a lot of tuning is sometimes required. So we're shooting this Q mini fix in 300 blackout with the CAT ODB TI. And we're gonna try out the 125 grain supersonics first. Make sure you're listening to that supersonic crack as the bullet breaks the sound barrier. So that sharp cracking sound, that's actually the bullet exceeding the sound barrier and that sonic boom, the silencer can't really do anything about that. So it's gonna sound a little bit louder to you. Still hearing safe for a few shots. If you're gonna be shooting all day, we would recommend going for the subsonics probably and we'll show you what that sounds like. Same rifle, same silencer. The only thing different is we're changing that ammo to the 220 grain subsonic. On this, you're going to hear the firing pin, you might hear a little bit of gunshot noise, and then you're going to hear the impact down range. None of that sonic crack, and this is absolutely all day hearing safe. And that's really Hollywood quiet, that's as close to like 22 LR as you're going to get. That's Hollywood for you. Now we're gonna be shooting some supersonic ammo through this Air Precision EPC-9. This particular grain is 115, which is a pretty common uh, training ammo. And we're also gonna be running this Dead Air Mojave 9. Let's see how it sounds. So it's gonna be a lot quieter than shooting unsuppressed, but you still are gonna have that supersonic crack down range, but that's whenever subs come in. Now we're running subsonic ammo. This particular bullet is 147 grain. Let's see what sounds. Mm. 
Notice how the bolt going back and honestly even the bullet impacting the berm is louder than the gun being fired. Same principle applies whether you're shooting a bolt action rifle, semi-auto rifle, or even a handgun like this. And if you want to learn how to silence a handgun, be sure to check out our full video on how to attach a suppressor to your handgun. In the meantime, we're shooting this Staccato P with a rugged Obsidian 9, shooting supersonic 9mm. Let's see how it sounds. Now let's try it with subs, 147 grain. Obviously that subsonic ammo is gonna sound great. Your guns are gonna be shooting super flat, no recoil, but they're also pretty useful for things other than just plinking at the range. Things like 300 blackout like this minifix or 8.6 blackout actually has dedicated subsonic hunting loads. So even if you're chasing hogs, coyote, deer, whatever it might be, you can actually hunt with almost no sound, almost no recoil, especially here in Texas where you might have shots on you know, five, six, seven hogs at a time. That subsonic ammo really helps you get a few different opportunities. You know, they're not scattering at that first shot. It's also really nice not having to wear in-ears or over-ear hearing protection while you're out in the hot sun or, you know, looking for that trophy buck. Should have taken the shot. If you're interested in learning more about subsonic hunting, we have a couple of dedicated blogs on the website. Make sure you go and check those out. And if you learned anything about subsonic ammunition today, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel and subscribe to the newsletter where you can learn the latest suppressor news, deals, and info. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. Subscribe. Subscribe. Really? Button's right down there. <laughs>